Hello everyone and welcome back to our dash. In the last mission we have succeed in helping Alara preparing his ritual or actually helping him slaying his enemies. By the way, pardon for a bit noise if there is some noise because it's quite raining raining heavily outside. So yeah, let us go to the next mission. The darkness within calls for the blood of Malash. Now is the hour of my ascendance. The Rakshir commence! Alara, High Lord, Contestant. Okay, I see that. Rakshir. Okay, first of all, of course, we will see the 10th anniversary achievement. Rakshir. Complete the Rakshir mission in less than 12 minutes on normal difficulty. So, it is a speedrun. Well, it is what it is. I think we need to make some changes. Then... Hmm. Okay, I probably... Probably will need... Starting supply more, but... Yeah, did I need this to reduce the time to warp structure, structure onto the battlefield or to increase the rate of shield regeneration? I think, yeah, I don't really know though, but yeah, I think I will go like that with Chrono Search. And yeah, let us go to the War Console. Assembly panel. I think Sentinel, of course, Stalker, Dark Templar, Immortal, Energizer, Phoenix, High Templar. I think I will use Void Ray for this one. Considering that it will be needed more to kill the structure or units faster. But yeah, if I fail, I will load again and change it to this. Because I believe Void Ray is the answer in this scenario. But yeah, let us see. On brutal difficulty, of course. And let us launch. The Rock Shear with a bead of flame. With Alarak and Balash standing. In the upside of the pit of ritual, pit of flame, I think. Yeah, something like that. But this is a speed run, so I need to go a bit fast, if possible. As fast as possible, I mean. The rite of Rakshir has begun. From this moment, only Alarak and Malash are allowed to engage each other in combat directly. One must overpower the other and reach the Pit of Sacrifice. There, the victor will stand as the new leader of the Talgarim, and the loser's life will be forfeit. They appear quite evenly matched. This is true. However, from what I have learned, Rakshir allows the champion's supplicants to support them psionically. Our warriors will be able to aid Alara, but likewise, the Talgarim can assist Malash. I will ready our forces. Malash will fight ruthlessly to hold on to his power. We must be prepared to do the same. Okay, so let us save at one first, and then because we have the Talderim will send warriors to aid Mala shortly. We should ensure Alarak has sufficient reinforcements. No, we is drawing power from the Talderim. Alarak will need the support of our warriors. No, I think he will be fine. Right guys, I think we need to go 
so many pylons there. I mean, so many pros first. Okay. State I think I will make. I mean, I mean, cancel it. Make one target. Go back to probe. I am the voice of the eclipse. Should I make? Yeah, I think make one energizer will help. You have not enough. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough minerals. Hmm. I will be needing violence or not. You have not enough minerals. No, I think I just go I am defend this first. Our courses through me. Move forward, slaves. Kill all who aid Malash. You would do well to remember that I command these warriors, Alarak, not Oops. you. Okay, let us make more pylons. Upgrade complete. And starting make point raids. Oops. That's not good. I am the heart of the I am the void. Yeah, that is unfortunately a bit too many. Cold is the void. I don't know, but yeah, let us save it too. Steep. And upgrade. That's a bit bad. I am the voice. Hierarch, I don't understand how this is possible, but my scanners are detecting high solarite concentrations. No, I think I should lose that stalker because I need to use it to claim that to destroy that pattern cannon under up. And yeah, I can destroy Most of the thing. I am the voice. You require my skills. Steve. Hierarch, I don't understand how this is possible, but my scanners are detecting high solarite concentrations in the native beasts here. We ought to pursue them. However, I think it best if we don't inform Alarak of this little diversion. Understood, Hierarch. I am the voice. You require my skills. Okay. I know there are high Templar there. I hope I get it. Yes. I did. And let us take Taldarim attack force is inbound on our nexus point. Brothers, attack the firstborn directly. Okay, let us make more. Oops. That's not shit. That shouldn't happen. Hey, come here. Okay. Let me say three. Hierarch, I am sensing hybrid. They come to aid Malash. 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 
Fight well, warriors, and you will also ascend into Highbridge. Oh, you lie with such conviction. It is almost admirable. Whoops. This warrior awakens. Well, systems at full. Let it go like that. I think I can make more Stargate. Okay, I think that's quite good. Okay, that's been done. Annihilation commencing. You require more Vespine gas. Channel the light of ice. This vessel is down in vain. We are at full. Zak Naku Akbal. Let me upgrade. Channel the light of ice. Okay, it let us push. Confrontation draws to a close, Malash. Soon everyone will know the depth of your treachery. Uh, let's just hope that. Hmm, I hope it will. Should I use Solar Lens or. Yeah, that's not good. I sense more hybrid approaching. Be ready. Come on. Okay. Okay, my base is already wrecked. System, my master has already won Alarak. You will lead our people to their doom. You are right about one thing, Malash. I will lead them. Mission commencing. Okay, come on, 12 minutes. Can you go? Okay. of Rakshir, I am your High Lord. Listen and obey. Malash promised you lies. There is no ascension. The Taldarim will never be uplifted and become hybrid. Amon betrayed us, and for this, he must 
die. Timing push. There you go. That's for the 10th anniversary achievement in brutal difficulty. But yeah, let us play again to take the solarite. And yeah, I won't be needing to be much in the rush, so I can just load at the last checkpoint that I saved. I think that should be okay. Make mass white ray, just defend, 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 make sure all are doesn't get pushed. I even take next. Okay, maybe I also make a force. You have not enough minerals. Prismatic. You have not enough minerals. Actually, nah. My vengeance will not be delayed. Send me your warriors. Oh, really? You require more Yeah, I shouldn't make those energizer, but yeah, it's okay. I cannot hold forever, Arcanus. I must have more power. Yeah, yeah. Now. You can hold, right? Okay, that's your threat. Now let us make some pattern cannon. Let us kill those. Archon. Let us quickly take this part here. Yeah, I just roll it there. Maybe I even need to make pylons here, so I have vision. That will be good. Bye, Melash. Ah, uh, yeah. I should wait though. Maybe I should control the well done, first trade independently. Beast has been slain. You have not enough minerals. We face the enemy. You have not enough minerals. You must construct additional pylons. Oops. Paradactural. Prismatic core online. Okay, let us defense. The Taldarim are moving against us from the upper pathway. Prepare our defenses. Taldarim. Slaughter the firstborn, and your ascension will be assured. Yeah, I need more. Much more pylon. My vengeance will not be delayed. Send me your warriors. We meet the enemy in battle. We 
face the enemy. Oh. Hyro, a hybrid dominator has appeared. It is on its way to Malash. Okay, now is the time for us to take some... Ooh, there's quite some army there. But yeah, Mass Hoytroy is good. Okay, just one more. Island field. Prismatic core on our pylon is under attack. Okay, time to go for Base defense. Oh. Okay, now let us clear this one. Phase crystal paradactyl. Bring your forces to me, Artanis. I need their power. Or what? Come on. This is quite long though. Prismatic core online. I think I can buy Pesto. A hybrid behemoth. Be wary, Artanis. Okay. All the Solarite. I have all of them. My preliminary scans indicate that the Solarite deposits are a byproduct of the beast's unusual digestive system. Are you saying that they're. Wait. Never mind. I do not wish to know. Never mind. Okay. Let us end this. You require more Vespin gas. We meet the must construct additional pylons. Pylon. Yeah, fight race is good. Our confrontation draws to a close, Malash. Soon everyone will know the depth of your treachery. Do I need to destroy all of it? You are right about one thing, Malash. 
I will lead them. <laughs> Okay, guys. Calderim, by the right of Rakshir, I am your High Lord. Listen and obey. Malash promised you lies. There is no ascension. The Taldarim will never be uplifted and become hybrid. Amon betrayed us, and for this, he must die. He must die. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Let us continue to the Spear of a Dune. But I don't know. Why does the tall rim so easily sweat? Alarak, the Taldarim have yielded to my authority and the Death Fleet is now under my command. I will use them both to avenge Amon's betrayal. Do your people believe in this cause as you do? What they believe is of little consequence. What matters is that they obey. You choose to rule differently than I, Alarak. Despite this, we may not only end the violence between our kind, but forge a powerful alliance. Can we now? My people are vastly different than yours, Hierarch. We both desire vengeance, and we are both Protoss. Is that not enough? Oh, very well. Submit to my absolute authority, and we may indeed unite our forces. Do not test me, Taldarim. Amon is a mighty foe. Your people cannot hope to stand alone against him. You will side with me, and together we will send him back to the Abyss. <laughs> so you do understand my culture after all. Let us save it for now. We have struck another bargain. Hierarch, I have powered up a new ship subsystem. You can review it in the solar core now. Okay, Alarak, another bargain. We must stand together if we are to endure. I guess so. Have the Taldarim accepted the truth of Amon's betrayal? Some have. Others dare not question my commands. None wish to declare Rakshir upon you. Let them. No one can stand in the way of my vengeance. This grows tiring. We have done what we came to do. Set course for ire. And let us bring this war to Amon. Do not dare give me orders, Alarak. We will return to ire only when I believe the time is right. Let's hope that time comes soon. Well, with this death fleet, I think it's quite so many army that we got. Rohana. Amon's presence within the Kala grows stronger. He is becoming harder to resist. You risk much for this, Rohana. He believes all suffering, all conflict, results from the Zelnaga's infinite cycle that it must end. Yes, he has made this clear. But you see only the surface. Underneath, a silent hatred roils within him. A prideful resentment that would see all worlds burn. The hybrid are the true face of Amon. He wishes not only for the Zelnaga's creations to be set aside, but for them to suffer. Okay, so Amon only want to destroy everything. Quite makes sense though, seeing what they do. But how did you, Rohana, know about the Rakshir and all the, of those the Taldarim tradition? Hmm, interesting. Artanis, you should know my fear of the Taldarim is not of the now, but what becomes of them if Amon is defeated. You fear they will never integrate with our society. They share our blood, but they are not like us. 
You know in your heart that may never change. It is true. A great battle may loom on the horizon ahead of us, but it's a risk we must take. It is a great risk. The dawn of a unified Protoss requires much. Like the threads of a cloth, we must come together and be stronger because of it. To think what we become with their culture influencing us. Changing us. Yes. We will be changed. And perhaps that is what you fear more than battle. The path ahead is uncharted, Matriarch. Well, at the other side, Dark Templar also was considered cannot blend in in the culture of the Templar, right? So, why not? Alarak has brought his ascendants into our fold. They are fierce, but strong. Ascendant. Vengeance for the betrayed. Sonic damage enemy on his path. Ooh. Quite cool though. Mind Blast. Sonic Orb. 10 damage per second. And Sacrifice. Ah, uh, okay. But I don't think I really like that ascendant. I will choose High Templar first and... Yeah. Let us go to the Solar Core. Phoenix. Do not think what has happened here will spare Alarak from my watchful eye. I did not expect it to. If he dares to betray us or takes any action against you, I promise his blood will coat these corridors. Good. That is what I am counting on. Okay, so Phoenix is like the security guard of Artanis, I think. The Templar and the Taldarim have joined forces. Unbelievable. So many unbelievable team characters. Even these results require further testing. Keep on testing then. And yeah, we have new system. Let me just un... Guardian Cell. Inferno for 5 seconds. Hmm, quite good. Alpha speed and 5% bonus while question in power effect lasts up to 15 seconds so oh, this is quite good though and spear of a dune uh, this is also good hmm what to choose i don't know i don't think i can decide that easy yeah but deploy phoenix this is also good but maybe maybe for now let us just deploy phoenix or shield of our charge but matrix with matrix overlord overload load not overlord <laughs> sorry my pronunciation yeah it's that five but it's okay and yes yeah, so in the end we have succeeded in helping Ararak, helping to win his structure and the Taldarim joined force with the Templar with this death fleet. And we shall see what does the future hold for us. So that is the end also for this video. Thank you for watching. Likewise, stay safe, have a nice day and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!